your monthly reading let's see what's going on for you in the month of may as always if you want a more personalized reading from me be sure to check the link in the description box or follow me on instagram because i always have kind of options that i share over there or like offers that i release and i kind of will put over on my instagram but otherwise check out my website website always has options so let's dive into this song I got on shuffle was why don't you come on Khalid Empress of it's like um I'll be your light or uh, I'll be your light after midnight why don't you come on so maybe you're like urging some or somebody's urging you like let your guard down like come on let's do this I don't know, let's get some oracle cards though and see what's coming in for my Geminis in the month of May. Energy, we have the moon, subconscious mind, feminine intuition. We have nature, notice the harmony around you and create, nurture your creative energy. So I see you in feels, taking little times out, connecting, getting rooted and grounded. And because of this, you might be like, creating something or you might be dipping into this kind of creative energy here um like channeling or transmuting your emotions into some kind of creative something 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 you know all right let's see let's get some moonology cards what's happening in the month of may for my gemini's we have the end of a tough cycle approaches okay we have you are good enough full moon in Virgo and balance spirituality and practicality. So again, with the transmuting energy, we have prosperity lies ahead. That's new moon and Taurus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So new moon and Taurus could be significant for you. So I feel like you're going to be channeling your energy, especially with that intuition there about the subconscious mind. I feel like you're going to be channeling your energy into something creative with the balance, spirituality, and practicality, it's definitely like um, you're going to be create, like you're gonna be pulling something from the ethers, like getting downloads and channeling these into some kind of creative process or something that you're working on, it feels like. But I do feel like you're kind of gonna be, and it could even be yourself, like working on yourself, like, channeling that energy into yourself and having like some kind of glow up with this you are good enough um really nice energy but let's see bottom of the deck bottom of the deck we've got the three of cups Ooh, this is beautiful because this is like such a fertile energy to me and like creative energy flow can talk about like being more expressive so i see you expressing yourself more this upcoming may like creatively on it like expressing your emotions in some kind of way but that might be on a creative level so let's see overall energy we have the fool card the star seed here what is the star seed doing here please Ooh, the ace of crystals i feel like there's an opportunity coming towards you or you going towards an opportunity new beginnings for sure taking some kind of leap here with this Ace of Crystals, this is like that golden opportunity, but this might be you creating that solid, whatever it is, you know, you taking this, like making something happen, creating this opportunity for yourself, feeling the courage to actually go for it. So we have the Temperance card, beautiful. This is the healing. This to me is like when we transmute our emotions, like we go through that temperance process of like healing and blending, you know, coming like it's like blending our past to with the present to create the future, right? Patience. The world card. Okay, so definitely new beginnings for you. And the emperor, we got Aries energy strong on the table here. Aries and Sag. Why is the temperance card here? The four of crystals. So this can talk about foundation, healing the root. I see you getting really rooted and grounded 
in some arena. Some of you might be manifesting a new home or something, but I actually see you, some of you might be buying a home I'm hearing, like buying a home for the first time, but I actually see you healing your root, healing your root, like re-grounding yourself. But this is like bringing something that's like divinely channeled and giving it that foundation, giving it that creation. So that's why I'm like manifesting, but it's more so like a trans, like transmuting, channeling. It feels like channeling. I don't know. Um, but with the world card, it is a new beginning. Like you're entering a new cycle. The emperor, what's the emperor doing here? The emperor, the nine of swords. Okay. So this is a separate entity. This is a separate entity. This is like your, you could be blocked off from this person at the moment, but this person's thinking a lot about you. There's somebody who's like focused on you, very obsessed with you, um, very in their head about you. They can't stop thinking about you, but you're kind of doing your own thing over here. You're doing your own thing here. You're getting grounded. You're getting rooted. Um, there could be like a new cycle within whatever this is. Uh, like I'm not necessarily tapping into love, but there's somebody here. Um, some of you I'm hearing like father figure energy. So if there's like, uh, somebody's thinking a lot about you, they have a lot of anxiety when it comes to you. Six of crystals, the two of cups. It could even be like a father who's like anxious about you. And you're like, don't worry. I got, I got things handled. Um, but again, this could be somebody who just comes across as like that very serious kind of strict energy. <clears throat> they might be in a, like an energy of like, uh, excuse me, not wanting to have thought about you, but thinking about you. Two of cups here. And then we have the devil card. So Capricorn energy, six of crystals here. This talks about reciprocity. Um, but also return on investment. What's the six of crystals doing here, please? Um, this could be eight of cups, like eight of pentacles. This could be you receiving some kind of promotion, you receiving some kind of like unexpected abundance here. Eight of pent eight of crystals. It talks about work, like something that we've built this skill set for. So if you've invested in like a class or something, it's paying off here. Two of Cups. Uh, you're doing your, like, here's the thing. You're doing your own thing over here, okay? And then there's somebody here that's, like, very attached to you, very focused to you. I do feel like the energy is, like, the love is mutual here. So I do think that this is somebody that you have um, fondness for. And I say fondness because I'm like, it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be something the person's very in their head about you. Um, very attached with the devil card here. Cause it's like, what is the devil card doing here? Please. The 10 of wands. Oh yeah. My God. Well, this person feels a lot of lust for you too. Um, <laughs> I'm getting this person wants to like dominate you. Um, so it's like a control thing, right? Like this person is, no, that's the word. They, they're very obsessed. Um, and it's like kind of weighing heavy for them. But it's interesting because I see you really not not focused on this five of swords death card and then the five of crystals so interesting five of swords what's the five of swords doing here the four of cups okay so it's like this is all great and good like all of this stuff happening for you is really great. You're creating something. You might be channeling this energy of like defeat and kind of being trapped in your emotions. This might be the energy that you're transmuting or channeling. Um, Cause the death card, this is like 
obviously there's a transformation here. This person is like, with the Five of Pentacles, this can talk about obviously being out in the cold, being in some kind of separation. Why is the Five of Crystals here? Ten of Cups. Um, but also needing to get out of their comfort zone. But it's like their comfort zone is like, I don't know, this person's, this person's very focused on you. Like in order for them to find happiness, they have to get out of their comfort zone though. What is, what is this five of swords, four of cups for you? The, yeah, hermit, this is whatever energy, whatever you're going through, maybe it's in regards to this, because like I said, the core of the reading is the two of cups. So this could be about a relationship or partnership in your life. Why is the five of swords, four of cups here? Four of Swords, yeah, you might have had to take a break from this situation because it was a little bit too intense codependent. You had to heal yourself. You had to ground yourself. Um, and like you're channeling and transmuting that into something. What are you channeling and transmuting this into? Strength, yeah. Like your own. And this person might be seeing this transformation happen. What is the five of pentacles, five of pentacles, ten of cups doing here for this person? Six of wands. Whatever you're doing is helping this person. And that might be why they're so focused on you because maybe whatever you're transmuting, you're channeling your energy into, and it can be anything, like whether you are sharing stuff online or you're talking about something or you're out there doing something, sharing photos, like this person is being inspired by this to do their own healing and do their own transformation and change. I don't know if you're cognizant of this person, but they are seeing your transformation and it's inspiring them to do the same. They've seen how you've kind of been able to shift your energy and they're, um, they're being inspired to do the same. And it could even be like if you've lost weight or if you've done something and you're sharing that, like that's, this person is kind of focused on that. Why are they so focused on you? Nine of crystals, yeah, they, they like what they see. Um, but they like how abundant you are and they see you as somebody who is really like self-reliant and stable and um, like, and maybe this is multiple people, maybe some of you are you know, on social media or something. But um, there's something about the way that you handle yourself that this person, like they see you and it's like they, they the, the Nine of Pentacles is such an attractive energy. It's like this person struggles with like codependency or attachment stuff. And it's like they, see you being so free and independent or so like self-reliant and abundant and they want that for themselves. Why is the Three of Swords here? Page of Swords. But there is like something that when they, like this is what makes me think it's somebody that you've been romantic with because when they watch you, they get this sense of like heartbreak, like disappointment. So it's like either they did something in the past that they regret or like there was some kind of ending here or like there's something about this that makes them think that they can't, like they, you don't need them. And that goes back to that, like they wanna dominate you type of thing. It's like they feel like they can't have you and that like there's nothing that they can offer you. Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Lovers card. Okay, so like I said, lots of passion for you. Um, very dreamy energy here with the Seven of Cups. Obviously, we have the Lovers card, Gemini energy here. But I feel like this is like a, it, it's a connection that I think you're cognizant of and you have similar feelings for this person. Might dream, have dreams of this person. Seven of Cups, Seven of Crystals, very spiritual connection. Um, three of cups. 
Eight of Wands. So there could be like some communication here, some kind of expression. Maybe you communicate through this person with whatever you're sharing or you channel that energy, but it feels like you com communicate directly to this person. Like whatever you're sharing or whatever they're seeing, it's like you're communicating directly to this person sometimes, or that's how they feel. Um, what's coming in for you in the month of May? What's coming in for you in the month of May? King of Swords, High Priestess, the Two of Wands. Like I said, with this intuition, like you're trusting your intuition and you're moving towards something. You're taking some kind of action here. You're getting really clear and like your logic and your subconscious is like lining up in some kind of way. Um, what is this opportunity? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be leaving something behind. Um, and maybe that's the situation here where it's like I freed myself from this situation and this person is like, you know, feeling like guilt and regret. I want to pull some more cards, but then I'm going to move into the extended where I'll dive in deeper with the archetype cards, get specific energies along with sexual tarot, other tarot decks, message cards, just to see what's going on here. What are you going to be creating this month? Six of Swords. What are you going to be creating? Eight of Wands. Some of you, Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Like I said, some of you might be starting careers online. And maybe like this isn't a specific person watching you. This is like a lot of people that are, are you know, resonating with you. But whatever you're creating, it's like a almost like a paradigm shift. Like you're leaving something behind you're you're going somewhere and you're not looking back and you're moving pretty fast here with the page of cups queen of wands you're like it's like you're transmuting some kind of energy that you have justice card and the moon so it does feel like you're making i'm hearing that this is like karma like that the, there's a part of this that is like destined that you're destined to you know do this or settle some things here um like create something um or you're getting kind of justice in this situation so it's allowing you to move forward move on some of you might be signing contracts and these contracts are going to require you to move somewhere else. So like I said, creating a new home, establishing a new foundation, um, contracts that make you that, 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 that you might travel more. You might be traveling more here. Um, but I feel like a lot of what's happening for you in the upcoming month is forward movement. This energy here, you might think it's important, but it's, it's not. There's just... Somebody here who's really focused on you. Um, they might come forward and communicate, but I feel like this is definitely um, something that you would expect. I think you would expect this. I think because with the Two of Cups here, I feel like this is either an existing connection or something that you're, you're aware of. You're aware of it. And like this person might reveal themselves but there is some kind of yeah it's like I can't control you or I can't offer anything to you um and you're kind of like okay well I'm gonna just do me then like I don't know it's like there is this kind of feeling of I'm gonna create the reality that I want like I'm not like outgrowing a situation you might be outgrowing a situation maybe, or like whatever energy that is. Um, either this person has to like be inspired by you and move forward, or they have to shift out of that energy of like obsession and trying to control you or, you know, I don't know. I think an opportunity is gonna come towards you that might help you push forward and move. I feel like everything that's coming forward towards you though, you're really tapped into your intuition right now. So you see, you kind of see what's happening. So that's what I'm seeing in the extended, I'll dive in a little bit deeper. We'll get more specific on the energies coming through. And yeah, click the link in the description box if you're interested in that. And I will see you there, bye.